Welcome in the Transmedia Literacy Teacher's Kit. The Teacher's Kit website and the YouTube channel are the main results of the Transmedia Literacy project. The aim of these uh, two tools is to support the educational community with a wide range of high quality and tested contents. Here you will find specific information, educational tips and some guidelines to map teens' digital skills and to take them into concrete formal didactic activities, designing lessons that will engage, motivate and improve students' learning outcomes. So this is the key idea. Now we will illustrate you the website contents. Through the menu, you can access to the main sections, Transmedia Skills Map, Didactic Cards and Videos. Let's go through them. In the Teacher Kit, we have the Transmedia Skills Map. This is an interactive and visual map with response to the answer, what are teens doing with media? We have several main areas, production, risk prevention, performance, social management, individual management, content management, media and technology, ideology and ethics, and narrative and aesthetics. These are main areas, but if we select one of them, we can observe specific subcategories and reach examples of these skills in teens. For example, if we select the sub-skills Manage Content Archives, we have a description of these skills with teens and most of all, we can reach several didactic cards to organize activities in classroom and merge this skill with the formal outcome and formal lessons in school. Let's go to a card. In a didactic card, you find easy to use and then the instructions on how to organize your lessons in classroom. For example, in this didactic card, we have several fields that describe the activity. The field learning areas allow you to understand to which discipline these skills and this card is connected. The field age allows to understand if these activities is suitable for your student's target. The field key questions provide some learning issues you can cope with your students through this activity. In the card you find also concrete uh, information about how to organize the activity in classroom. For example, in the field materials, you find information about what you need to uh, work uh, with students. The duration gives you an um, estimated time to uh, carry on the activity uh, in, uh, in classroom. You have also the field's evaluation in which you find several um, assessment criteria to use for evaluating activity with your students and also the references, which are sources you can use to go in depth in the activity and to learn more about it. You can also save the didactic card. And in this case, you will find it in the bookmark area. You can also download it or share it with other teachers or with your students. You are invited to browse the didactic cards and choose the most suitable for your classroom, your pedagogical visions and the skills you want to improve with your students. In the didactic card section, you will find the search engine. This is a very interesting tool to select the activity or the card that best fits with your didactic uh, plan. As you can see, there are different criteria that you can use to filter the cards. In our opinion, the starting point is to uh, explore and to map the teens' transmedia skills more diffused in your classroom. If you find, for example, that uh, there are YouTubers and they used to produce videos, so the production area will be the most interesting area to start with. The teacher's learning area is another search criteria. 
here you can uh, choose your discipline, for example, arts, uh, religion, mathematics, sciences, social sciences, and so on. It's also possible to select the activity filtering it by age, 10, 13, 14, 16, or 17, 18 years old. Another criteria regards the language. The search engine also includes different tags related to the media platforms and genres. Since the number of cards will increase in the next future, the search engine will be a useful tool to select the cards connected with your discipline. In this page, you are also able to create a new card. In this case, the platform asks you to register in order to be able to upload new content. As teachers already know, using videos in education has many benefits. In fact, videos are a powerful medium to present the transmedia topics to teachers and also to showcase some good examples of lessons that have been inspired by teens' transmedia skills. In this case, the Transmedia Literacy YouTube channel will provide teachers with a collection of videos that have been produced in different secondary schools in Finland, Italy, Spain and Portugal, with the aim of illustrating through real case histories how these digital skills can be introduced in the classroom. Before starting to plan your activities in classroom, take in consideration the importance of human factors and specifically of emotional engagement for obtaining good educational results which really involves all the aspects of students' growth. Putting technologies and devices in classroom is not sufficient to involve students. On the contrary, the development of a genuine and um, spontaneous emotional environment is the key factor for improving interaction among students. The Transmedia Literacy Teachers Kit is a rich site of tools. There are low barriers for engagement, a strong support for sharing experiences, and people who really believe that your contribution matters. So take these contributions and turn them into experience. You can be an active part in this participatory learning work. <music>